Okay, in this review we're going to be looking at the new Viper Internet Security uh, 2012 version and this also includes the Viper antivirus and what I had done was downloaded the 30-day uh, free trial of the Internet Security Suite because it basically has everything in it including uh, the antivirus and the malware and uh, the firewall and, all, and it has some additional tools in there that I really found to be useful too that normally you wouldn't find in an internet security suite and I was just uh, overall really impressed with um, how well everything works and uh, how well it performs. Now before we get into looking at the new Viper antivirus and internet security suite I want you to know that I do not work for this company and also uh, they did not pay me to make this review. I get that a lot of times. I like to review software and uh, many times people comment you know that I work for the company and that's why I'm making this. Um, no. Uh, if, if it's a software I don't like, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. If it's a software I do like, I'm going to tell you I do like it. So just to start off, I do like the new Viper Internet Security 2012. Overall, I found it to be ex uh, perform extremely well. It's actually uh, detected um, a few things on my computer that some of the other programs that I had did not. And so here we can see this is the main screen you get when you log on to it. It's going to tell you your overall scan status, your last scan, uh, when it's scheduled to be scanned next, or of course you can just click scan now and have it to automatically scan it at the minute. Um, protection, it'll show you here if they're enabled or not. Um, updates, you can update it whenever you choose just by clicking this button or you can set it to automatically update. And the firewall also has settings and right now I have the web filter disabled uh, because some of the sites that I was going to, it was actually blocking them and telling me that, uh, that they could have potential harmful stuff on them. Um, so if you do activate the web filter, which is really neat, um, I recommend you adjust it to your settings so it will allow you to visit the sites you want to go to. But um, turning the settings or, or turning the protection and the firewalls on and off is as easy as just clicking on the settings and instead of enable firewall, I just uncheck it, click apply, and then we'll click OK. And then you'll see here that the firewall has, has totally been disabled now. And so I want to go ahead and turn this back on. And it also gives you additional settings too. I'm not sure what a lot of these do. Um, it's, it has some really advanced features for those of you who know a lot more about this than I do. Um, it says enable intrusion detection system. Um, it has the, the web filter which I have turned off at the moment. Um, just a lot of other options on here that really um, for most users you wouldn't have to have but if you are um, really into the high-tech internet security stuff and you want to be able to, to tweak your settings to exactly how you want them those options are available and so over here is the scan um, you can choose to do a quick scan a deep scan or a custom scan if you just want to scan certain files um, you can do that. The deep scan will um, basically scan all the files on your computer. It's going to take a lot longer to, to do this one, but it's going to be really thorough as well. And then you got your firewall, which has the settings. Uh, it has the statistics, connections, what you're currently connected to, and also the history um, of all the reports of every time that uh, it's caught something going in or out of your um, online connection. Under manage, you can view the history of all of your reports. You can see all your quarantined items. And right now, I have one which is a, a Gameplay Labs. It's a browser plugin. And I really like that because a lot of times when you download free stuff online, my kids like to download free games and play them. Uh, it'll, it'll, it'll download and add on, it'll put like browser add ons. And it'll change a lot of stuff on your browser. And with this here, it actually detects those as being. Um, kind of like malware because basically that's what they are. They want to kind of take over your browser and, and throw ads at you and take you in different places online basically for advertising and it, it'll quarantine all these and allow you to remove them. And you can schedule your scans too. Now under the tools um, normally you would have to pay extra to get these kind, the, this kind of quality of tools from a product. Um, this has a secure file eraser which erases, um, it, it'll completely erase files from your computer. If I click on this here, um, basically it'll, it'll uh, delete a file and, and you're not going to be able to get it back. It also has a history cleaner and this is neat because it, it automatically detects all of your browsers and programs on your computer that saves temporarily, that saves temporary files or um, just um, any kind of file on your computer and maybe you don't want them on there history files 
and you can check mark which one is, which ones of these that you want on there you don't want and just uh, clean history and it's automatically going to wipe off all the cookies and the history and the temporary files and all that from from all your browsers you have installed on your computer and then PC Explorer view computer settings that are normally hidden so if we go here uh, what I like about this is it has the startup applications and it'll show you all the programs that start up with your computer majority of the time there's a lot of programs here that don't need to be on and the thing is when they are on it causes your computer to load up really slow and here you have the option where you can block those from loading when your computer starts so it'll boot a lot faster so overall um, I, I think the Viper Internet Security Suite is um, a very good product um, I do highly recommend it and if you're just looking for the antivirus instead of the internet security that's available as well you can find it on the link there on your screen and uh, the link will also be available under the video and uh, there's I'm sure there's going to be um, free trials they're, they're probably going to continue this 30-day free trial um, but if there's any coupons it's going to be available or discounts I'm, I'm going to note that underneath this video as well so be sure to take advantage of those if they're on there um, otherwise you can just take a, a visit to the site right now and you can download a 30-day free trial for yourself and see how well it performs for you